Dogman, Lord of the Fleas by Dave Pilkey. Dogman is copyright by Dave Pilkey and published by Graphics. <laughs> Our story thus far. One time there was a cop and a police dog who got hurt in an explosion. Blevers. When they got to the hospital, the doctor had sad news. Boo-hoo. How many times are we going to do this? I'm sorry, but your body is dying. And your head is dying too, cop. Rah. But just when everything seemed hopeless, the nurse lady got an idea. Let's sew the dog's head. Owns the cop's body, yes, I know. Okay, nurse lady. So they did. And soon, a new crime-fighting sensation was unleashed. Hooray, Hooray for, for Dog, dog Man. man. Along the way, Dogman has made some very awesome friends. Zuzu, world's greatest poodle. Sarah Hatoff, world's greatest reporter. Chief, world's greatest chief. And our hero. And one super evil enemy. Wanted for being a jerk. Petey, world's most evilest cat. Boo! Recently, Petey tried to clone himself. I'll make a big evil villain just like me. Beep. But instead, he got a tiny, cute kitten who was nothing like him. Papa. Aw, oh, son of a Petey. Lil Petey, world's greatest kitty. Lil Petey's life started out sad. Oh. But it wasn't sad for long. Oh. Now Lil Petey has a family. Oh. ADHD, world's greatest robot buddy. And that is a good place to start. Chapter 1, A Visit from Kitty Protective Services. One morning at Dogman's house, <laughs> Lil Petey and ADHD <laughs> were hard at work. Well, I'm all done reprogramming the dogmobile. Yeah. Now it's super easy to control. How's the hydraulic roof ramp coming along? <laughs> awesome! I can't wait until Dogman sees it. Good morning, Dogman! Look what me and ADHD did! We transformed the Grand Ballroom into the coolest clubhouse ever! Us three are going to be in a club, okay? We call ourselves the Super Buddies! Most of the time, we'll just be our regular selves. But when danger rears its ugly head, we'll be superheroes! Look, I even made a cape for ADHD! <laughs> and I made him a Fliporama mask! You just tape it here, and now he's brave, see? But if you flip it up, He's happy! <laughs> he looks so different, you can't even tell it's him! So I'll be Cat Kid, you can be the Bark Knight, and ADHD will be Lightning Dude! This is gonna be sweet! Oh, it's time for breakfast. Cat food and cream for me, dog food and gravy for you, and nuts and bolts and motor oil for ADHD! Hey, I know! Let's all eat and flip a It's an important part of this nutritious breakfast. Doorbell. Don't you bark at me, and you stop barking too. That's better. I was sent here by Kitty Protective Services. Apparently, you've got a kitten who should be in school. Come with me, young man. Don't you dare growl at me. Kittens have to go to school. It's the law. Do you want to pay a fine? Do you want to go to jail? Do you want to lose custody? Hmm. It's okay, dog man. I'll go to school. Ah. And we can play together when I get back, okay? Bye, dog man. Bye, ADHD. Meanwhile, well, hello there, little fella. Hi, Papa. <laughs> I think you've confused me with someone else. No, I haven't. I'm a kindly old social worker. No, you're not. I only care about your best interests. No, you don't. Look, kid, I'm not who you think I am. Yes, you are. I am not your papa. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Am not. Are too. Am not. Are too. Am not. R2? I am not! You are too. I knew 
knew you were my papa. Look, kid, I'm not your papa. You're my clone. Clones don't have papas. Well, I do. <laughs> Look, I have had it with you. It's not even noon and you're already driving me nuts. Yay. Hey, where's the school at, papa? We're not going to school. We're getting out of town. Why? Because you're in terrible danger. Why? I'm not gonna tell you. Why? Because every time I tell a story, you always interrupt me, like a thousand times. Why? Because you're a pest! Why? Arrgh! Sit down! Why? Because we need to talk. Why? Look, it's very irritating when you don't- hey, Papa, you got weird hairs in your nose. You just interrupted- I won't interrupt anymore. I'll be good. All right, because what I'm about to tell you is very- hey, Papa, is this story gonna be boring? No! Okay, you may continue. <laughs> well, it all started this morning when I was in- Hey, Papa, you wanna hear a joke? I am going to finish telling my story! And you are going to listen quietly with no interruptions! Okay. Chapter 2, Petey's Story, with many interruptions. All right, listen carefully. This whole mess started today at sunrise. I was in my jail cell minding my own business when the guard comes in and starts messing with me. Yoo-hoo, Petey, what you doing? Nothing. Hey, you're not building a giant robot, are you? No. Oh good, that's a relief. Well, come with me. It's time for your appointment. What appointment? You have to see the psychiatrist. I ain't seeing no head shrinker. Sorry, Petey. The judge says you have to. Rats! So anyway... Petey, meet Dr. Katz. It's a pleasure to meet you, Petey. Yeah, I know. Hey, Papa, that guy looks like the costume you wore. Just pay attention. It'll all make sense soon. Okay. So, anyway, my records show that you've been locked up here seven times, and you've escaped six times. Yeah, well, it's been a busy week. Petey, we need to get to the root of your problems. Huh? All right, all right. I guess it all started when I was a kitten. I used to be in the Critter Scouts. Ha! Ah. Hey, Papa, how come I'm wearing a hat? Huh? That's not you. That's me when I was a kitten. Oh. So anyway, I used to be an awesome scout. Here's another badge for you, Petey. Sweet. I was known far and wide for my good deeds and merit badges. <laughs> but it all ended one day when we went to play miniature golf. You kids play nice. I'm gonna go get some coffee. Okay. Everything started out great, but then a terrible storm arose. The whole place began to flood. We hid on a tiny boat, but the water rose higher and higher, and soon we were washed away. The storm raged for weeks and weeks. Finally, we landed on a deserted island. Well, Petey, what do we do now? We must use our scout skills to survive. We can hunt for food, and we can use Piggy's glasses. My specs. To light campfires and stuff. Together, we can build up a utopia based on hard work Respect and civility. What do you say, fellas? We'll try, try our, our best, best PD. Nine minutes later, attack me! Ah! Crunky the ape and Bob the crocodile had their own agenda, and soon a pointy blade was before us, and hungry sharks with razor sharp teeth were below us, and then. Hey, Papa! Uh, knock, knock! Are you even listening? You're supposed to say, Who's there? <sighs> Come on, Papa. It's a good one. Who's there? Um, uh... Ugh. Huh? A flower. <sighs> a flower who? A flower pooped on your head! <laughs> that doesn't even make sense! Look, kid, this is serious! I'm pouring my heart out to you! You need to pay attention! <laughs> okay, okay. So... Anyway, there we were, Piggy and me, at the brink of death. May specs. Losing the battle between civilization and savagery. <laughs> when suddenly... Hey! What are you kids doing? I was gone for ten minutes, and you've regressed into maniacs. What are you, a bunch of animals? <laughs> when I find out who was responsible... <laughs> Wait, so that whole part about the flood and the island was all make-believe? Well, yeah, but that's not the point. The point is, I was betrayed. And then he started a fire. 
Then he fed my specs to the sharks. We tried to stop him. In the end, I got kicked out of the Critter Scouts. All my good deeds were erased. All my virtuous hard work meant nothing. Life was pointless. I guess things were never the same after that, Doc. And what about Piggy and Crunky and Bob? Oh, I got my revenge against those guys. Ha! Huh. I just made a few phone calls to the right people. Hello? Animal Rights Union? Soon. Their whole organization was flooded with anti-discrimination lawsuits. <laughs> the Critter Scouts was shut down within a week. What happened to Piggy, Crunky, and Bob? Who cares? I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> Piggy? We lost our badges, too. Our lives became pointless as well. <laughs> And we began planning our own revenge against you. <laughs> Crunky and Bob are waiting outside. Now that we've got you, we're gonna destroy someone you love. Your little clue. Wait, you love me? Just pay attention! Okay. So anyway, then we're gonna take over the world in our giant robo Brontosaurus. It's parked outside. <laughs> oh, guard! Yes, doctor? An evil pig just broke in and swallowed Pity. Oh, thank you, Pity! <laughs> Oh no, oh, Petey! I'm coming for ya! No, oh, Crunky! Oh, Bob! on the way! Yeah, boss? Help that guard! Okay, boss. <laughs> Let me We're help. helping. Bye, Dr. Katz. So long, sucker. Uh, uh, uh. So that's why I came to get you. And that's why we need to get as far away from here as possible. But, Papa... If the bad guys got locked up, why are we running? Because they'll probably escape! But how could they escape from a maximum security prison? Who knows? Maybe something dumb will happen. With Petey and Lil Petey on the run, will they really be safe? And will Piggy, Crunky, and Bub escape from that maximum security prison? Will something dumb happen? I guess we'll find out on the next episode of Dog Man! If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. In other words, hit the thumbs up. That's the like. And if you want to see more of our videos, go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell. It'll tell you when more of our videos come out. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next reading.